Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits. Welcome your beautiful faces to another video here in Nashville. So, we are actually in fact going to a Goodwill. We said at the start of this holiday that we won't because we thought we'd just do it for ourselves, have a nice holiday, some time away, but we got the bug from this shop behind me. Which is in fact Buffalo Exchange, which is a new and recycled fashion shop. And now I want to hit a Goodwill and the nearest Goodwill to us is about 15 minute drive. So I've just ordered an Uber and hopefully it'll be with me in a second. But before we do go, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here and let's see if we can find any bits that we can take home back from the Goodwill, back all the way across the pond to Liverpool. But what I will do is show you a little bit of Buffalo Exchange. So this is in fact the store that's given us the bug to go to a Goodwill. They've got tons of jumpers, tons and tons of trainers, a load of women trainers, even more women's jumpers, a rail full of jeans, some t-shirts, some blouses, and just loads and loads and loads of stuff. Not enough meat on the bone to resell back in the UK, but it's given us the bug and the kick up the bum to go to a Goodwill and try and make some money. So let's get out of here and go to the Goodwill. And here we are, we have finally made it. The Uber ride was only about seven quid, so yeah, not too bad. But there's a slight problem. We've only got about eight kilos left in our suitcase. But I'm sure we can fill it up. I honestly can't believe I'm at a Goodwill again. Because I'll tell you what, at the start of this holiday, I said no Goodwill, but we're here. Because there isn't much room in the suitcases, I'm going to be very, very picky. Like these pair of Soconies, I would pick up, but they've got slight heel holes. They are only $6. But I've got to stay. I can't do it. I can't do it. They're going to have to stay here. Again, a really good brand, Allen Edmonds. But look at the internal heel damage. $10. You could get at least 60, 70, 80, 90 quid for them. But with that damage, I think I'm just going to leave them. Which really does hurt me to say. Oh, it's that brand again, Florsham. I sold a pair of driver loafers just before I came out to the UK for £40. So they've got a nice wingtip broke for $12.99. I think that will be coming home with us. And another pair, but they're a little bit sort of, a bit more plain, so I'm not too sure on them. Literally just about to put these out. So we grabbed them, pair of Brooks Revel 3s, decent condition, plenty of life left, $10, about seven pound in today's market. Happy day. A nice pair of like really sock knee high Uggs. They did really well in the winter. And then another pair of uh, sort of bear paw which is a sort of Australian brand again, which I do really well in the winter. And they're also only $10, so again, seven quid. And to be honest, it is so, so easy to do when you're here in a Goodwill. So I've come to the t-shirts to see if we can find anything light to go sort of like in the hand luggage. So because we've got a bit of space in the hand luggage as well. Yeah, I can't say we've found anything at all really worth bringing back to the UK. So I might move away from the t-shirts. That's a cool design though. No. Shame it's got a pocket. Because I'm not a fan of pocket t-shirts. I just do not suit them. I tell you what, I'm not gonna lie. I am struggling to find much in this good old at all. Which I guess isn't a bad thing considering I haven't got too much space in the suitcases. And we're genuinely supposed to be on a holiday holiday this time. There may be one time in my life that I find a tie that's worth more than 10 pound. I don't think that day is going to be today. All right, we've come back for the Soconies. They're not that bad, $6. Happy days. Oh boy, look what we've just found right next door to the Goodwill. A Goodwill outlet. I have never been in a Goodwill outlet before. Oh boy, but at $1.49 per pound, it's got to be worth a look, right? I, mean, I found one of these, but I can't find the other. And it doesn't look like it's anywhere near to be found. Brilliant. This is pretty cool. We'll take a walk on the wild side on a sort of Fruit of the Loom best tag, 1993. But it is a bit stained, so like I said, we're not really thrifting too much today, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I like it, to be honest. The whole Goodwill bin side of things, it's just 
it's a bit too much, you know what I mean? It's a bit overwhelming and it's absolutely rammed. Yeah, I'm not too sure if we got here really, really late. Like I said, it's, um, we weren't actually planning to do a thrifting trip at all on this holiday. But yeah, it just seems a bit too much, you know what I mean? Like, it's absolutely crazy. And we simply cannot get in there because there is just no chance. What we will be doing is buying a couple of Dr. Peppers. I tell you what, I have a lot of respect for people who come to a Goodwill outlet in this heat because it's hard work and they have to go through a lot of crap to get some good stuff. And the fact that it's half past one in the afternoon, it's 33 degrees and I don't think they've got aircon in there. Like I said, a lot of respect goes to people who do it. Uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of rubbish, but uh, we end up finding absolutely nothing. Because like I said at the start of this video, we want a bit of a tight squeeze with the space in the suitcase and in the hand luggage. So for that reason, we had to be very, very picky. And yeah, it is what it is. We've come out here for a holiday at the end of the day. We're not here to thrift, but I thought, why not have a little bit of a thrift video? So what we'll do is I'll show you exactly what we got from the retail store when I get back to the hotel. Right, now back at the hotel room. And yeah, like, I just want to reiterate what I was saying on the steps of the Goodwill outlet. It's not like I wouldn't suggest going. I just think where we are, it's really, really, really sticky hot. It's ridiculously hot and it's, we just got there way too late. And like I said, we weren't actually supposed to be going to a Goodwill uh, outlet at all, or any retail Goodwills, anything like that whatsoever in this holiday, because it was just gonna be for a holiday. But me being me, yes, I have a slight addiction to when it comes to buying stuff, but it is what it is. So we've got a few things that we are gonna take back to us, which will fit in the suitcase weight-wise and actually physically fit. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you exactly what we picked up. So yeah, as you can see, not a great big haul, but there's definitely money to be made here. We're gonna start off with the Jan Sport or the Hian Sport, however you wanna pronounce it, I'll let you deal with that with yourself. Uh, we only picked this up because they didn't actually have any Goodwill bags and we needed a bag because like I said, we were actually getting an Uber back to the hotel. So we needed a bag to get it to back to the hotel. However, we can actually resell that for about 20 quid. Owes us six dollars. One of my favorite brands at the moment, I sell quite often here in the UK, is Floorshine. A uh, decent brand, these are wingtip brogues. You can tell that by the design of the brogue itself. Really nice condition, just need a polish. Should be able to get about 30 40 quid. I'll tell you what does really well with this brand, and that is the suede loafer sort of driving shoes. So I think these should be safe. They owe us. $11. A pair of Uggs. These are sort of like just below the knee sort of sock Ugg boots. They sell really well at Q4. We sell these all the time for about 35, 40 quid. So that is a really nice find. I tell you what, we've even picked up another sort of Ugg subsidiary brand or something very similar to Ugg before. And um, they sold very, very well. But like I said, Ugg sells themselves should be easy, £35. You know, I was um, in an iron about these because of this slight hole on the heel, but overall in decent condition. They are really nice and clean. A pair of Socanese. Socanese sell really well here in the UK. They are an up and coming brand for the UK. Uh, if you ever go to America, every other person is wearing a pair of these, I swear. These should sell for about 30 to 32 pound. A very nice pair of Brooks Revel 3s. These are kind of got like that fly knit on the Nike sort of feel to them. Very, very nice and light. Again, very decent condition. These again only owe us about $6. So stupidly good condition, really light. So perfect for the suitcase or the hand luggage. And they should be able to get about 30 to 35 pound. A brand very similar to Uggs and that is a brand called Bear Paw. You can tell that by a little ball print on the back. Very, very sheepskin-esque. Again, exactly the same as Ugg. They even, the tag inside even looks like a Ugg tag. Uh, again, £35 all day long. So like I said, an unexpected video, an unexpected trip to the Goodwill. Didn't like the Goodwill bins whatsoever. It was just too busy, too hot, too many people. And it's hard work. <laughs> like, I'd rather just go to the shop, pay a little bit more, and just pick up some bits. We've got about 200 to 220 pounds worth of gear there, so it's really not too shibby shabby. Guys, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna to end today's video there. Hopefully you did enjoy that video. I know it's not very relevant to the UK market, but it is 
what it is. I've been your boy Kieran and I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Just before I do go, please do me one favor, smash that like button. It really does help the channel grow and subscribe for daily reselling content here in the UK. Thank you guys for watching. I've been your boy Kieran. Bish, bash, 